Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters. Imagine being a prisoner in the cells of your own body. My former mother-in-law, 91 years old, was released from the hospital two days ago to her son's house. Easter time this year, he decided to terminate her contract for assisted living services at the senior home due to being dissatisfied with the level of care that she was receiving. He figured he works an odd shift, he'd be home in the afternoon, she's healthy, he'd sit and keep her company. It would be pretty easy, pretty straightforward. The same weekend that he gave the notice, she fell and broke her hip. She's been recovering from broken hip, bout of pneumonia, a blip on the heart, as the hospital referred to it, a minor heart attack. All of 91 pounds, frail, hollow looking face. They deemed her as non rehabilitatable. They released her. She came home to her son's house, blew the hospital down, positioned into a wheelchair, reclining. She just returned every two hours. She has what they call moon boots. Foam booties from her feet, her ankles, to her knees to help support the disintegration of her skin. Additionally, she's now incontinent. First day at home, waiting for home support to arrive. She has to be changed. small house, really just a renovation to make the bedroom door wider so she could fit into the room, is now looking like a hospital room. Male nurse in attendance, female care support worker. They lift her to the bed to change her. And it's a small, narrow hospital bed. She's laying on her back, tells me that she's incapacitated. And always this way. They begin to change her, take the bed sheet and pull and roll her up over onto her side. As I'm standing alongside the bed, I watch her come up and over, and the look of terror that comes across her eyes because she can't judge how much distance she's going to be before she reaches over. I become the bed girl. I hold her wrist, her hand. I feel the bones in her weak little body. The care support worker starts to cleanse her area. Oh, oh, thank you. Oh, I feel so good. It feels so good to have fresh water. six weeks. And they had no understanding of in that moment when she came up and over of what that felt like for her. This roller coaster ride of how she was going to land. Her skin's disintegrating. She'd be lucky to have a 
the shower once or twice a week. In that moment, when I watched her and I listened to her cry, in gratitude, she was joyful. She was appreciative. Thank you. Thank you for making me feel clean. The words, it wasn't always this way. I kept thinking in that moment, how grateful I am every single day for the things that many take for granted. Water, the ability to do what I can do on my own. In that moment, I thought about the compassionate space that the caregivers could have provided for her just by having some sort of understanding of how difficult it was for her, feeling a prisoner in her own body, feeling helpless, debilitated, incapacitated, and unable to move. So I truly ask you, imagine what it would be like to feel like a prisoner in the cell of your own body. At some point in time, each and every one of us could be in that place. So in this moment, and we all be grateful, feeling fresh, feeling clean, 